Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to Assis Biology. In this video, we will discuss about fertilization in sea urchin. And this is from the unit of developmental biology. I am Assis Kumar Das, a student of MSc Animal Biology, University of Hyderabad. And this video will be useful for a BSc and MSc student, CSIR NET, DBT JRF, ICAR NET, ICMR JRF, and GET Life Science Aspirants. And at the, at the end of the video, we will discuss some CSIR net question related to the topic. So, first of all, what we are going to discuss today. So, we will see what is sea urchin, that is the basic structure of the sea urchin, we will also see. Then, we will see what are the peculiar characteristics, that is the special character that are found in the sea urchin fertilization, that is they are that is restricted only to the sea urchin and they are not usually seen other places or in other case of organism. Then we will see what is the ligand and the receptor involved in the process of the sea urchin fertilization and many more we are going to discuss today. So basics information about sea urchin. First of all, this is a spiny bodied animal. As you can see here, these are the small small spines arising from the body of the sea urchin. So they are spiny bodied animal and spines are present throughout the body. Then they live in sea water and they are aquatic or organism and marine organism you can say because they are residing in sea water or salty water then they belongs to phylum echinodermates and this is commonly called as crinoids so they are commonly called as crinoids and they are belonging to the class that is the phylum echinodermata and class crinoidea they are commonly called as sea urchin and other members of the echinoderms are sea star sea cucumber, brittle star etc so here in these two diagram you can see here there are two sea urchin this is one sea urchin and this is another sea urchin you can see so they are spiny bodied animal belonging to the phylum echinodermates and other members of the echinoderms are sea star sea cucumber brittle star etc now come to fertilization of sea urchin so the fertilization is species specific as you know from the definition of a that is the species the group of organisms that are reproductively isolated and genetically distinct so reproduction can be between member of two species only so that is the member of the same species the member must be belonging to same species otherwise fertilization can take place and this is external fertilization that is that fertilization is taking place inside sea water that is outside the body of the organism it is taking place in water this is in contrary to human beings because in human beings what happen the fertilization takes place inside the female body but here the fertilization is taking place outside the body or you can say in sea water so this is a case of external fertilization now we will see the structure of the gamete that is the male gamete sperm and female gamete ovum so here you can see the male gamete the diagram is there so part one this part corresponds to acrosome then the cell body second part is this part corresponds to the cell body this part that is the third corresponds to the collar or neck you can say and the fourth part is the tail that will disintegrate inside the egg after fusion so we will see the function of each part the part one that is the acrosome is containing hydrolytic enzyme so hydrolytic enzyme means with the help of that is the with the help of hydrolysis they will degrade the membranes of the that is the various protective covering of the sea urchin egg then the second part is the pronucleus that is containing the nucleus the haploid set of the chromosome that will fuse with the dip, that is the haploid sperm and will, sorry haploid ovum and sperm the zygote diploid zygote then the third part is collar neck that is containing mitochondria so the sea urchin sperm will survive air, that is will respire aerobically and survive with the virtue of atp synthesis with the help of mitochondria then the tail part that will disintegrate after the fertilization inside the egg after fusion so now come to the structure of the egg so here the structure of egg you can say there are four layers that is the jelly coat the vital end membrane that is the dashed line shape then the cell membrane and the cortical granules so first of all jelly coat is made up of energy that is n acetyl glucosamine and sugar so these two are the that is the jelly coat is the protective covering then come to vitelline membrane vitelline membrane is similar to the zona pellucida of mammals and it performs the same function as it is played by the zona pellucida in human being then come to cell membrane as you know the universal rule of cell membrane that is the structure of cell membrane is lipid bilayer so the cell membrane is lipid bilayer and you can see the cortical granules they are calcium containing granules and present in the cortex of the egg that's why they are called as cortical granules now what are the phenomena that is unique to sea urchin 
सो जेली कोट ऑन द एग सरफेस सो दिस एट्रैक्ट एंड एक्टिवेट द स्पर्म एक्चुअली द जेली कोट कंटेन ए प्रोटीन दैट इज कॉल्ड एज रिसेक्ट आर ई एस ए सी टी रिसेक्ट प्रोटीन सो दिस रिसेक्ट प्रोटीन इज ए केमो एट्रैक्टेंट एंड दिस इज रिलीज बाय द एग इन वाटर व्हेन द केमो एट्रैक्ट इज रिलीज बाय द एग इन वाटर इट विल एट्रैक्ट द स्पर्म्स दीज आर प्रेजेंट ऑन द एग सरफेस एंड दे विल एट्रैक्ट द स्पर्म्स सो द रिजेक्ट प्रोटीन इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज ए स्पर्म एक्टिवेटिंग पेप्टाइड व्हाई दिस इज कॉल्ड स्पर्म एक्टिवेटिंग पेप्टाइड सी हियर सो व्हेन व्हाट हैपेंस द स्पर्म एक्टिवेटिंग पेप्टाइड द इट इंक्रीजेस द माइटोकॉन्ट्रियल रेस्पिरेटरी एक्टिविटी इमीडिएटली एंड ड्रामेटिकली सो द इमीडिएट ड्रामेटिक इंक्रीज इन द माइटोकॉन्ट्रियल एक्टिविटी ऑफ स्पर्म इज एसोसिएटेड विद द रिलीज ऑफ रिजेक्ट फ्रॉम द एग एंड व्हेन व्हाट हैपेंस द स्पर्म रिसेप्टर दैट इज ट्रांसमेम्ब्रेन एंड ट्रांसमेम्ब्रेन प्रोटीन सो व्हाट हैपेंस कॉन्फर्मेशनल चेंज ऑन टेक्स प्लेस इन द साइटोसोलिक साइड ऑफ द प्रोटीन सो द ट्रांसमेम्ब्रेन प्रोटीन दैट इज द the membrane span that is the membrane spanning uh, membrane spanning receptor so the transmembrane receptor after it interact with the reject protein will leads to a conformational change in the cytosolic side of the receptor so inside the cytosolic that is the cytosolic that is the conformation change in the cytosolic side will leads to the that is mitochondrial atp Uh, that is the atp production by the mitochondria and the the mitochondrial atp generating apparatus will be activated more and more dynein atp flagellar movement will be activated and the that, that will show more and more flagellar movement so the reject protein is associated with increase in the that is the mitochondrial and respiratory activity of the sperm so vitelline membrane is equal to zona pellucida and it perform the same function and cell membrane is usually lipid bilayer so here you can see the structure that is the sperm and ovum so zygote is there so here you can see the zygote is there the zygote nucleus that is a fusion of male and female nucleus that is diploid in nature and the cytoplasm is maternal in origin here so you remember the structure of the reject and how it is that is the name of the reject and how it is increasing the respiratory activity of the sperm now you can see the diagram the detailed step be careful here so the sperm make contact with the egg that is after the receptor senses the chemo attractant it is attracted towards the egg the sperm is attracted towards the egg and the sperm make contact with the egg then after it make contact with the egg what happens the acrosomal vesicles that is the vesicle with the hydrolytic enzyme so here you can see the acrosomal vesicle this vesicles with hydrolytic enzyme what happens it uh, it is release the hydrolytic enzyme how it is releasing the hydrolytic enzyme so whenever it makes an contact what happens there is the exocytosis of acrosome vesicles and how the exocytosis is taking place that is the the exocytosis is calcium mediated ca2 plus mediated exocytosis so the cytoplasm that is the calcium mediated exocytosis how it is taking place it is taking place by the fusion of membrane between the acrosomal vesicle and the ex ex zona pellucida so here what happens the acrosome that is the hydrolytic enzyme will be released and the hydrolytic enzyme digest the egg jelly and the it the it is now make will contact with the vitelline membrane so the acrosome reacts to the zona pellucida also so after the that is the zona pellucida and vitelline membrane is same here so the acrosome react to the zona pellucida the hydrolytic enzymes are released here and the protein receptor you can see here the protein receptor these are the small small ducts like structure there is a protein receptor and these are called ebr1 receptor eb we will see this in detail the ebr1 receptor act as a receptor that is the ebr1 act as a receptor for the binding protein present in the acrosome of the sperm so the protein receptor is there so acrosome react to the perivitelline space and the plasma membrane of sperm and egg is fusing here you can see the plasma membrane is fusing under the influence of the ebr1 and the binding protein and the sperm nucleus is now entering the egg here you can see the sperm nucleus is entering the egg so the cortical granules fuse to the egg membrane and which renders vitelline membrane impenetrable to sperm so this is actually blocked to polysperme we will have another video on this now what are the steps we have already discussed the steps now see the steps that is the sequentially the written steps so the chemo attraction of the sperm towards the egg due to secretion of soluble chemo attractant the soluble chemo attractant is the reject protein molecule then the exocytosis of sperm acrosomal vesicles to release its enzyme to dissolve the egg jelly so the the hydrolytic enzymes or the enzyme present in the acrosome will digest the egg jelly 
and it will dissolve it. The binding of the sperm to extracellular matrix and a vitelline membrane. So the extracellular matrix or vitelline membrane is present outside the cell. That's why this is called extracellular matrix, and it is containing the species specific recognition that is the molecule that is the EBR1. So species specific recognition will be there. The acrosomal protein mediating this recognition will be binding. So acrosome contain binding protein and the vitelline membrane is containing the EBR1 receptor. So the ligand receptor fusion will lead to further steps in the fertilization. Now passage of sperm through the extracellular matrix after it uh, releases the binding so it, it will pass through the extracellular matrix the fusion of egg and sperm cell membrane will be there so the fusion of egg and cell membrane will leads to the that is the cortical granules fusion and uh, the calcium calcium ions will be released and this will prevent the polyspermy we will discuss polyspermy in detail and the last tip is the fertilization so here you have to remember few points that is the sperm binding doesn't occur through the entire egg surface that is the entire egg surface is not having sperm binding site there are limited number of sperm binding sites on the egg then the species spe specific recognition or interaction occur at the level of sperm interaction that is the release of the reject protein the reject protein will be released by that is the species specific interaction will be there that is the Reject protein of one species will be quite different from the reject protein of another species, although they are belonging to the same class and phylum. Sperm activation, that will sperm will be activated under the influence of the reject protein. So this will be also species specific. Then the sperm adhesion, that is the specific sperm adhesion will be there depending upon the same species. Then the binding protein is always present on the acrosome of the sperm. This is very very important point. The binding protein is present on the acrosome of sperm. And the EBR1 receptor is present on the vitelline membrane of the egg. So the receptor is on the vitelline membrane of the egg that is EBR1 receptor and the binding protein is on the acrosome of sperm. Then the species specific fertilization will take place in water. So this is the detailed steps we have discussed. Here you can see the fertilization or after the embryonic development, zygote, 2 cell, 4 cell, 8 cell stage, 16 cell stage. Then the 32 cell here the you can see I put this diagram only to show you the basic information that 16 cell stage is there 32 cell the blastula gastrula is there and pluteus is the larva of the echinoderm pluteus larva so here then in sea urchin pluteus larva will be formed now C1 CSI are net question according to the, the related to the topic so in case of C urchin which of the following is the correct sequence of the events taking place during the interaction of sperm and egg so first of all in this kind of question you must know the detailed step even if you are knowing the overview you can't solve the question so what happens first of all the chemo attraction of the sperm will be there after the chemo attraction what will happen the contact will be there that is the contact between the egg and sperm then the exocytosis of the sperm acrosomal vesicle will be there after the exocytosis of the sperm acrosomal vesicle then only the binding of the sperm to the extracellular matrix can take place then the passage of the sperm through the extracellular matrix and fusion of egg and sperm cell membrane so here you can see all the steps and option one seems to be correct here you have to read all the statements and you have to select the correct one. The chemo attraction of sperm to the egg by the soluble membrane secreted by the egg, exocytosis of the sperm acrosomal vesicles, then the binding of the sperm to the extracellular matrix of the egg, passage of sperm to the extracellular matrix, fusion of egg and sperm cell membrane. So here you can see all these steps. So option 1 is the correct option here. This is the end of the video. Thank you for watching and I will upload the block to polish for me in another video. Thank you for watching.